Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Curtis Razor Blades and Biggie Boy Jarzinho Rosenstrike. All right, so here he is, the man they call Biggie Boy and the first native of Little Suriname to cross into the UFC. Heavyweight contender and a bona fide one at that, Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Outstanding rookie year in the UFC in 2019. Won all four of his fights, all four of them by knockout. None bigger, of course, than that lip separation of Alistair Overeem that set up a future fight with Francis Ngannou. A lot of people feel like Rosenstrike is the future. They'll try to be the present here tonight. All right, so here is the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco National Champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Polona. Yes, and yo, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! Play! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Our right, round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division. It's maybe the best rounder in this division. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs. He seems to have a clear advantage on the field. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. 
Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. It's a real quick leg kick. He just misses there with the left. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Great control by the Lands a big elbow there. Just misses with the jab there. A little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Checks the leg kick. Nice shot to the body. Motion strike gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Head kick lands. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good jab. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Left hand punch in the clinch. 30 seconds to go. Rosen strikes cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the top. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way.
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, strong punch there by Blades. And both guys really throwing with authority. right punch by this young man. Again, in the clinch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And now he's got that tight clinch. Muay Thai club. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That shot is blocked by Blades. And he landed the right hand there. Nice one, two there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, Rosen strikes lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Rosen strike gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. And now he lands a combination. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nicky. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mix in his opponent. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Roses. The right hand just misses. Wow! He was hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice. 20 seconds to go round two. And they set. Oh! He's done! He's done! Oh, straight right! Timing his shots pretty well here. Oh! Huge right hand! Five minutes! All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? 
It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. They got rocked that last round, but you're fine. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they separate. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He loaded up on the right hand, too. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top support? Oh, Rosen strikes lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Good work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Push him off! Push him off! Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Rosenstruck. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kick. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for a lot of time now. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight right. Blades gets caught with that. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, man. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. 
Straight right is there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively. Oh! He's out! Door! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yazin Yazin, Boy, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.